Hello everyone, I run the blog Hot Blonde Girls with HeavyOnMakeup.tumblr.com. My name's Tom, but I go by a pen name, which is why my blog isn't updated at all, because I was working on this. And I know you're like, oh, hey, Tom's got a second book out. Remember that first video where I was like chugging a beer? I was like, oh, yeah. It was for the, this book right here, famous for nothing. And so in the beginning of the other video, I chugged a beer because I was like, man, I could finally drink again. I was editing so hard. You know, the book was like, it's blog posts and stuff like that. All the characters are female besides two. And so, you know, I had to keep track of all these characters and everything, which apparently I didn't do a very good job of based on what everyone's told me. But it made sense in my head at the time. And so this new book, uh, this one, third person and a bunch of ladies. This one is first person told by a guy with my haircut and my facial features who lives where I live and has conversations I've had before. So I was like, oh shit, I finished the book. I wrote it pretty quickly. Um, and then I had to ed start editing it, and I was like, oh, I better stop drinking. I needed to stop drinking when I edited this one, so now I need to do it for this one. But then I was like, in order to be true to the main character of Empire Waste, I think I need to continue drinking constantly so that I'm in his frame of mind the entire time. It's like literally this book was just like, hey, we should get drunk. It's the only way you can get through me. And I was like, I don't know, book, but I'm at the mercy of my characters. So I didn't chug a beer at the beginning of this video because I was chugging beers the entire time I was writing this. So keep that in mind when you're like, this is 400 and, or no, 300, 348 pages of drivel. I mean, there are going to be differences here. If you liked this book, this book is like, it was like a, uh, a trip to the fair or something like that, where you show up to the fair and you're like, this is sort of campy. Like maybe you go there because a friend told you you had to go there or, uh, you know, I, I don't know. You just had a free afternoon and so you show up at the fair and you're like, you know, this is funny. Like you, making fun of people is fun but it's not something that I'm like invested in or whatever. And so you're going around and I think at some point the fair in this book, like the crowd parts and you see, you know, the head cheerleader from your college basketball team or like, I don't know if you went to a college that doesn't have a basketball team or sports like they probably just did away with them because they're like we don't need all this crime on campus so they did away with the sports teams then imagine in this situation imagine it's like the head of the coolest academic sorority fraternity what's it called where they let both of them in where they're just like whatever as long as you have good grades you can come in here it would be like that, but less dramatic because even the hottest person in the academic fraternity is probably like a four. So it sort of messes this up. But so you're at the fair and you see the head cheerleader and you're like, you know what? I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to see where this goes. I'm going to talk to the cheerleader head on. You talk to her. You have a great time. You know, you really hit it off. You ride off into the sunset with the head cheerleader. That's how I think this book ends. You can debate me on it, but I think you're riding off with the head cheerleader at the end of this book if you make it that far. Some people just left in the middle of the fair and the they went home to the fucking president of the academic fraternity sorority thing, you know. They they lost out. But so I think this is a really fun book. And then so alright, imagine you're at home now, you know like seven months pass, suddenly she loses some of the cheerleader loses some of the spring in her step, let's say, you know, can't do those back handsprings like she used to be able to do in college. So 
you're like, you know what? I'm going to go back, try to get that same feeling from the fair. And so you buy a ticket, and on May 7th, the day this book comes out, you return to the fairgrounds. But when you roll up there, you're like, how come we didn't hit any traffic here? How come we were just able to drive right in? And so you arrive at the fairgrounds, and it's an empty parking lot besides me sitting on the trunk of my car. And so you show up and you're like, where's the fair? And I'm just like, this is the fair, pal. And they're like, no, this is not. I paid for, you know, I look at this date on the thing. It says May 7th. And then look at this date. It says May 7th. So you owe me the fair. I was like, I don't owe you anything. I purchased the fair. And I'm going to put on the fair that I want to put on. And you're like, what the fuck? That is, where, where's the Ferris wheel? I just sit on my car. Ferris wheel. We're on the Ferris wheel. All of us are on the Ferris wheel. Same circle. Over and over and over. Expect something different. But you don't get it. Get the same. Going up, going down. Even when you're at the top, the Ferris wheel, what do you see? You look out from the Ferris wheel, you see the parking lot. The parking lot that you were so desperate to escape, now you're looking out on it. Say, wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Look at all those lights. And then you're like, what the fuck is that? That is that is the least fair, fair thing that could happen. Like, where is the snake lady? Where's the strong man? And I was like, well, if you think the fair is going to fix your relationship, the snake lady, head cheerleader, she's telling you, selling you a reality that isn't the truth. She's a snake. And a strong man. I'm not sure if you noticed these pythons, but carried a whole thing, like twenty-four pack of Diet Coke from Walmart into the car. Drove the car here. I'm not even sore. How's that for a strong? They're like, no, that that is not a strong... We're looking for the fair. You know the fair with the clowns where you, like, shoot the water into a clown's mouth? And I'm just sitting there like... There are clowns here. I see three of them right now. We got you. We got the snake lady. Who is it? also a clown? She she fills in when they don't need. They're like, no, we don't need a snake later today. We need we need a clown. So that's the second clown. Here's the third clown. Like I said, as a strong man, I carried a whole thing of diet coke to the back of my car, so I can get a couple of cans of diet coke. Snake lady can shake them up. She can spray them in my face while I read you <laughs> my sad journals. <laughs> I'm making it out to be worse than it actually is, but basically what we have here, this is a fun book, and I would say this, like this is more along the lines of what you get on my blog, and this is more of a literary Basically, I'll tell you what it's about. It's about a disgraced fashion designer, like, think like a John Galliano type of guy. And he, you know, doesn't really have job opportunities after he committed this act that essentially was a second chance and he sunk himself. So he needed to get a job and he takes a job with a rival company. And as he's working on this line where 
he sort of believes it's under him and everything. It's only a ready to wear line and he was doing more high fashion stuff. And as he's working on it, he notices that the girls that are coming in for castings end up missing. And basically that's where the, the plot continues from there. But, um, I would say if you like the fashion industry or if you have a fashion tumbler, then you'll probably like this book. But if you're looking for the fair, then you'll probably like this book. So, um, you know, both of them are available. Uh, I don't think, I don't think they provide the same experience. So figure out what you want at the beach this year and then go for it with one of these two things. I think, did like the, I think the sun has set that this video is so long. Where <laughs> like, I don't even know if I can fix this. Am I just going to be in darkness forever? How much longer is this video going to be that I have to fix? It? Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm angelic. Oh. No. All right, whatever. I think I'm just going to end this here. Just uh, watch the last 15 minutes of the video where Tom messes with his computer settings. That's really where he gets into the interesting part of where he is. No, but uh, I'll update uh, for Arizona again. I'll update Hot Blonde Girls and... If you read one of these, please, please, please review it. Even if you say, like, this is garbage. Like, right now, I don't have any reviews, and the only recommended authors it is besides me is James Franco. Like, I don't know what that... I don't, I'm not sure what that says about me. I can't compete with James Franco. James Franco has, like, 42 jobs. I have two jobs. I write this, and then I do, like, the other thing that I can't tell you about, because you'll probably write letters to my employer after you read this but basically please go out and support me with this and uh this the you know as usual i have all my likes at the end of this video it's two new songs from the this romantic tragedy album uh three of my favorite songs so definitely if you like that then go buy their thing like this I, I think this one is $9, I think this one's $14, and then I have like a Kindle thing. Let me, now it's just going to be me trying to figure out how to use my Kindle. Here's the, oh shit, I don't know how to use it. I think, here's the Kindle. Oh, okay, look at that. And then there, it's on the Kindle there. This is only $4, this is like $13. So this is like, basically if you walk up, to me with one of these, I'll assume you're rich. I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, here's my signature, uh, you know, let, take me out to dinner. And if you walk up with one of these, then I'll just be like, I'm not even going to sign something for you because we all know you're too poor to even own a pen, probably. But uh, I'll still be happy you bought this. I won't respect you as a human being, but, uh, you know. I'll be like, thanks for buying this and not James Franco's book, you know. All right, uh, this romantic tragedy, here's my likes, uh, buy my book, and uh, I love you all, every one of you, even if you buy the Kindle version.
away my self-worth unmarked my soul Come back home. 